morning, good afternoon, or good night, my fellow Chibits. Today, I'm here to bring all of you the weekly anime review of Seraph of the Inn Season 2, Episode 2. Quite the mouthful. So, this episode, I already know. I already know. You don't have to tell me. I've already seen it. All day. I know a lot of reviews are late. It's because of Tokyo Ghoul. I had to work multiple hours on that. But also, I know about the other problem, that this episode of Seraph of the Inn was rushed. Now, if I'm correct, I, I could be wrong here, so, grain of salt here. But I remember when Season 2, or, you know, Core 2 got announced for Seraph of the Inn, I remember there was an article on Anime News Network, and I think I've already covered this before, I could be wrong, but I thought that this second half of Seraph of the End was going to be rushed. It was going to be different from the manga. I remember it was going to take a uh, Kamiga Kill route. I, I remember that's what it said. I, I, I think that's what it said in an article a long time ago. So I saw a bunch, a bunch of manga readers just telling me, like, okay, so this episode is rushed. This, this episode is rushed. That's uh, all I saw. And I'm like, whoa, something bad must happen. So I sat down watch the episode for myself and personally as an anime only there's only certain things i want to talk about but for the most part the episode is fine I, I don't think the main complaints i was hearing was about comedy that, that that was the main complaints i was hearing was about certain comedy scenes that were cut out especially when it came to like some of these facial expressions that were pretty fucking hilarious or some of the romantic ships that was going on i i heard that's what they cut out in this episode and if that's the case is it really no i'm not a manga reader so i don't know but is it really that important if you can clarify in the comments without spoiling future events please do i, I gladly will listen but for now from my viewpoint as an anime only of course it doesn't seem like this episode was a big issue of course a lot of the stuff that we saw in this episode was things we've already seen before i mean yes learning to have demon possession and you know utilize your weapon they were trying to do that throughout this entire episode but majority of the stuff especially when it came to like the inner demons of fighting your inner demon along with seeing how you have to deal with these flashbacks with your childhood. A lot of that type of stuff we have seen before in Season 1. So it wasn't really nothing new that we have not seen before. The only thing I feel like that these flashbacks are being used for, these inner demon fights, it's being used as a way to reveal the backstory of our characters and give characterization to them, like what was happening with one of our characters in this episode. So, I mean, I understand where they're going with it, but when it came to the entire event of what the episode was about, it was still pretty much the stuff we have seen before. Now, that doesn't mean this was a bad episode. By no means does it mean it's a bad. I felt like they got the point across with how you need to really go ham inside of your mind or fight your inner demons to be able to use their abilities. And to see how they did that is pretty cool. I mean, getting to see how Yu was using his abilities and then the coffin we saw pop up was pretty damn creepy. I mean, there were some cool things in this episode, and I don't really have many complaints. But, like I said, I I'm an uneducated anime only, so I don't know. So I'm not going to say anything at the moment. But, when it came to the presentation of the episode, I felt like it was pretty cool. I mean, some might say it was slow. I, I can see where some might say this episode is slow, even though, suppose I'm here and it's rushed. I know some might say this is slow. It's because of some of the stuff that was in this episode, it was mainly just about demon possession and how they can gain to use their abilities and use their ultimate attacks. And that was it. So, we also have a couple other things going on in the background as well, which I do need to cover with the vampires. So the vampires right now, like the little vampire pr uh, princess, I think her name is uh, Cruel or Cool, or I, I can't say her name, please, please forgive me. But the vampire princess, she, she gets really fucking mad. Like, she gets so pissed where when she lashes out in rage, she just attacks the ground. You see this ground have a big gash in it, and it just goes to show you how strong she is if she really is pissed. And I mean, imagine if she was going all out, really going all out, what type of damage she could cause. So there's some issues going on in the higher-ups with the vampire society, along with how our vampire princess, she's happened to 
uh, kind of look at the situation and figure out what she can do. How she was tasked with taking out the orphanage and the different children that had seraphs inside of them, and you, for some reason, was able to survive that, along with Mika, that most likely has a seraph inside of him as well, and I feel like she knows about it. But yeah, episode of Seraph of the End, it's good. Animation's pretty damn good. I, I like the animation a lot better than Season 1. Oh, yes. Way better than Season 1's animation. Opening song, my opinion on the opening song. Okay. Gotta be real here. Not a fan of the opening. I, I like... I like the singer. I, I love Flipside. Flipside's a good singer. But I'm not a big fan of the opening in general. I I'm just not. Because when I... Think of the first opening of the, the first part of the series, you know, Seraph the End, and when you had that one scene with the roses and stuff, with the flowers just popping up. Beautiful, beautiful scene. One of the best opening songs of this year. Or, yeah, Seraph of the End Part 1 came out this year. Yeah, yeah, I did. So, yeah, the, one of the best opening songs of this year. I still have that song. It, it's that freaking good. So, yeah, I, I'm kind of disappointed with the opening song. Ending song's okay, not the best. So, yeah, and there's my thoughts of this episode of Seraph of the End. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.